Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School with uh, Gary Tang, who is data scientist at Airbnb. Welcome, Gary. Thanks for having me. So, Gary, Airbnb is well known as a data-driven company. Um, how do you make sure that everybody in the organization has democratic access to data and is able to make decisions um, that are data-driven? Data yeah, that's a, it's a, good, it's a really good question. Um, I think the first part is tooling. Uh, we enable our anyone inside the company to access information through our data portal. So it's our sort of like one-stop shop to find all the data that's available within the company. Uh, we also create very low friction tools for people to create charts and graphs, visualizations, uh, in order to take the insights and the data and make that uh, actionable. Um, and then we also do that through education. So we started an in-house program called Data University. Uh, which uh, anyone inside the company can attend, uh, all the way from, from Brian, chief, um, to operations, to product managers, to um, even data scientists. And the idea there is uh, give people a path through education to up-level their data skills in order to um, make every, you know, make as many decisions as possible through a data lens. Mm -hmm. um, now, you, you've also said that experimentation plays a huge role in every decision that's made. Um, how is experimentation, I mean, experimentation is obviously not the only way to make data-driven decisions, but it's a huge part. Um, how do you make experimentation uh, a natural uh, part of uh, everything that people do at uh, Airbnb? Yeah. Um, experimentation is in our lifeblood, in our culture. Uh, every product team um, ships or not sh does not ship a product uh, through experimentation. Uh, teams make progress through the learnings of experimentation. And um, so uh, as far as experimentation, uh, the, the, the act of doing it is very easy for us. Mm -hmm. I think um, what we have done to make it easier is to, um, again, lower the friction, lower the barriers for anyone who might be interested in running an experiment to run an experiment. So um, one tool that we built in-house called Mario allows our content creators to rapidly iterate on designs mm -hmm. and uh, ship experiments, run experiments without any intervention from mm -hmm. uh, data scientists, engineers, or um, product managers. And that just increases the sort of product development velocity mm -hmm. um, within our company. And uh, I think it, everyone at Airbnb can find the data that they need when they need it through some search functionality. Will you tell me a little bit about how you, how you do that? Yeah, so uh, what we noticed that was that as our company grew, um, a lot of the information that was being created was uh, tribal and siloed. So uh, certain teams would be aware of you know, their own data but not aware of another, team, another team's data who potentially would be working on the same product surface area. And um, what we did to combat this, to uh, basically free the information to everybody, is to um, develop this tool called the Data Portal. And the Data Portal is basically taking all the pieces of information generated within the company and finding a way to make that searchable. Um, and we do that through uh, very, very uh, sophisticated instrumenting that allows us to tag, meta tag, any information that's created um, so that when you find a piece of information, you know when was the last time it was accessed, when it was created, who created it, who else is using it. I think these are some best practices that lots of companies could learn from. Well, thank you, Gary. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me.